If you're planning to hunt outside of Florida for deer, elk, moose, caribou, or other members of the deer family, be aware of rules designed to reduce the risk of chronic wasting disease, or CWD, spreading into our state. We're fortunate this disease hasn't been detected in Florida. Under these rules, people are prohibited from importing or possessing whole carcasses or high-risk parts of all members of the deer family that originate from anywhere outside of Florida. Under these rules, people may import into Florida deboned meat, finished taxidermy mounts, antlers, hides and skulls if all soft tissue has been removed. The only exception to this rule is deer harvested from a property in Georgia or Alabama can be imported into Florida if the property is bisected by the Florida state line and is under the same ownership. CWD is one of the most serious wildlife diseases facing our country today. This infectious disease of the brain and central nervous system has been detected in 26 states and three Canadian provinces, and there's no cure, no vaccine, and it's always fatal for members of the deer family. The abnormal proteins or prions that cause CWD can be transmitted through direct animal-to-animal -animal contact. Deer can also become infected when browsing an area contaminated by CWD prions. An infected animal can shed CWD prions onto the soil through feces, urine, saliva, and other bodily fluids or its decomposing carcass. These CWD prions persist in the environment for years, even after a prescribed burn. Currently, there is no scientific evidence that CWD can be transmitted to humans. The disease appears to spread through natural movement of CWD-infected animals. However, transporting hunter-killed deer, elk, moose, and caribou carcasses with CWD is believed to be one of the primary ways the disease is spread over long distances. You can help protect deer populations by following the rules related to importing deer into Florida that are harvested out of state. Also, if you see or harvest a sick or extremely skinny deer, avoid handling it and call the CWD hotline. You can also support the FWC's CWD monitoring efforts by voluntarily submitting your deer heads for testing. CWD surveillance is important to verify our state is still free of CWD. It's also critical for detecting the disease as soon as possible to prevent it from spreading. We urge you to unite against CWD and help us ensure there will always be healthy deer populations in Florida. This video was made possible through funding from Wildlife Alert, a nonprofit reward program created to encourage citizens to report wildlife violations.